Our journey begins with an eight and a half hour flight from Minneapolis to Paris. Flights from Minneapolis to Europe are usually overnight flights with a seven hour time zone change. So by taking off at 5 p.m. Minneapolis time, we arrived in Paris at 8.30 a.m. the following morning Paris time. After landing in Paris, we took a taxi to the RV rental place where we met up with Monica, Lothar, and Tunchin. The lady at the RV place could not speak English. Lothar had to do all of the talking for me. They did have an instruction video in English for us to watch that explained all the features for the RV. Lesson learned. If you can't speak French well enough to communicate, don't try and rent an RV in France all by yourself. I would never attempt to do this if Monica and Lothar were not there to do all of the talking for us. The RV, which Europeans refer to as a camping car, was 22 feet in length, had a nice sized bed above the driver's compartment, a nice dining table, another set of bunk beds in the back, a compact bathroom with toilet, sink, and shower, refrigerator, stove, and sink. Our first campsite was next to the city of Jablin, which is a suburb northeast of Paris, just a few miles from the RV rental place, which gave us a chance to rest up and recover from jet lag after the long flight from Minneapolis. The next day, we took the freeway that ran past the south side of downtown Paris to the town of Giverny to see Claude Monet's famous water gardens, then continued on to our second campsite just outside the village of Saint-Germain. The next morning, we drove through Normandy, past the city of Caux, and then down to the famous Mont Saint-Michel, which is an abbey built upon a rock island a mile or so from shore. After three days at this campground, we drove north to the town of saint mer Eglise, which is the site of where American paratroopers landed during the D-Day invasion, and where one paratrooper got stuck hanging for several hours from the church steeple. The next day we drove to Utah Beach and then to Omaha Beach, which are two beaches where American infantry landed during the D-Day invasion of World War II. Our campsite at Omaha Beach was up on the cliffs with a nice view overlooking the beach. We then camped in the town of Aromange, which is one of the British D-Day invasion sites. Then we stopped to see where the Canadians invaded then drove to a campsite with a very nice beach where we could go swimming and for Sue to collect her seashells. After leaving the beaches in Normandy, we drove to a small campground outside the town of Lugy for one night, then drove back to Jablin for two nights so that we would have time to pack our suitcases clean the RV and relax before dropping off the RV and heading back to the airport for the long flight home. <music>